accountable. And very last one. Um, also, as a follow up to the CDC and uh, White House briefing mm -hmm. this morning on COVID, they made very clear that they are urging Americans to continue to take action to prevent a fourth surge, including non essential travel. Mm -hmm. uh, is the warning against non essential travel something that the White House is taking into consideration with regard to? upcoming travel by the president and vice president, both for business and for personal uh, reasons? Well, I would say the, the president travels, as does the vice president, on a private plane. Um, that is the purview of every president and vice president throughout American history. Uh, that is, of course, different than traveling on a commercial flight and going to mass events. As you know, we don't, the president is not hosting rallies, nor is the, the vice president. We take uh, the role of um, sending, being models uh, quite seriously, uh, but I think most Americans would recognize the difference. Go ahead. Thanks, Jim. Um, just on a clarification on the pay for question. Sure. When you said that it would be paid dollar for dollar, that the infrastructure component would be paid for dollar for dollar, were you applying that also to the, to the entirety of the package that will be released both Wednesday and in April? Or I just want to make sure we're understanding what's, what will be paid for. Well, uh, I think we're fo fo focused right now, I should say, on the Wednesday proposal. Obviously, there's still more that's being worked through, but I can, for the proposal later in the month, like, I should say next month, um, which is still being working its way through our economic team. But I can assure you that when the president lays out his infrastructure plan, uh, he will also lay out a plan to pay for it. Um, but is, again, open to ideas and proposals from members of Congress if they have a difference of view. And, and there was an op-ed in the New York Times today uh, by a well-known virologist with the title, We Can't End the Pandemic Without Vaccinating Kids. The argument is basically that over time, there will be mutations that could be more dangerous for, for children. Um, what is the administration doing to prepare for the possibility of vaccinating children? And does the president have a specific time period for when he would like to see children begin to get the vaccine? Well, we, we leave that to our health and medical experts and the FDA uh, process, uh, and CDC, I should say, process of uh, outlining guidelines uh, for when it is safe uh, to utilize the three approved vaccines or which one is the best for children. So we will rely on the advice and counsel of our health and medical experts on that. Front. And just one more. Um, when should we expect the president to announce his next slate of judicial nominees? Uh, I don't have a preview or an update for you. Uh, stay tuned. And can you just say, can you give us any insight into the process behind the scenes about, you know, who's leading that process internally? Uh, how are you come on, coming up with this slate? I think there are 68 or so vacancies right now. Uh, you know, I can convey that uh, the president wants to nominate people who have, who are qualified, uh, who have a breadth of experience, uh, who bring perspective to uh, these roles. Uh, and obviously he uh, seeks to uh, meet his own bars of diversity uh, when he's nominating any individuals to serve in his administration. Uh, but we'll look forward to discussing further at the point when we're ready to announce nominees. Go ahead. Um, if I could just quickly follow up on Jeff's question. Sure. Um, is it the White House position that the CDC travel guidelines don't apply if you have a private plane? I think the president, uh, he was asking me specifically about the president's travel and the vice president's travel uh, and the specifics of the guidelines. You can certainly ask the CDC for further clarification. But what I'm conveying is that the president, and as any president does, travels on Air Force One, whether he is traveling to uh, visit a community in this country or whether he is traveling to go to his home state of Delaware. I think most people recognize that uh, as being a difference.